Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of character rigging in Blender. This is what takes your awesome character model and turns it into a poseable puppet, ready for animation. It might sound complicated, but fear not, we'll break it down into easy to follow steps. What is rigging? Before we jump in, let's understand what rigging is. Imagine your character model as a suit. Rigging is like building a skeleton and control system inside that suit. By manipulating the skeleton, which we call the armature, we can then move the different parts of the mesh, the suit, to create animation. Two rigging methods, automatic versus manual. In Blender, we have two main approaches to rigging, automatic and manual, automatic rigging, rigify. This is a fantastic add-on for beginners. It creates a basic rig based on a pre-made human or animal skeleton. Great for getting started with animation quickly. Manual rigging. This gives you more control over every bone placement and functionality. It's a bit more time consuming, but perfect for complex characters or achieving specific animation needs. Let's rig a character using Rigify. All right, let's get our hands dirty. We'll be using Rigify for this tutorial. Make sure Rigify is enabled. First, head over to your preferences and enable the Rigify add-on. Add your character, mesh, Import your character model into Blender. Create the armature. Go to the Add menu and select Armature, Human, or Quadruped for animals. This creates a basic skeleton. Position the armature. Scale and move the armature to roughly match your character's size and pose. It doesn't have to be perfect yet, but getting it close will save time later. Enter Edit Mode. With the armature selected, press Tab to enter Edit Mode. This allows you to edit the individual bones. Adjust bone placement, optional. Here, you can fine tune the bone positions to better match your character's anatomy. This step is optional with Rigify, but recommended for a cleaner rig. Parent mesh to armature, optional. While in edit mode, you can parent your character mesh to the armature. This creates a basic connection, but we won't rely on it for final animation. Exit edit mode and apply transforms. Press tab to exit edit mode. Then, with the armature selected, press Ctrl plus A and choose Apply All Transforms. This ensures the bone sizes and rotations are set correctly. Generate the rig. In the Armature Properties, green bone icon, click the big Generate button. Rigify will take a moment to create a fully functional rig with controls for animation. Congratulations, you've rigged your character. Now, switch to Pose Mode, press A to select all bones, then press P and start playing with the controls. You can rotate, move, and scale individual bones, or use pre-made poses to bring your character to life. Bonus tip, weight painting. For a cleaner animation, you might want to try weight painting. This tells Blender which bones influence different parts of your mesh. We'll cover weight painting in a future video, but for now, you have a basic rig ready to go. Outro. Rigging can be a powerful tool for animation. Remember, practice makes perfect. There are tons of resources online to delve deeper into rigging and explore more advanced techniques. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Blender adventures.